Brahms history. Brahms history, making ice cream and dairy products are second nature to the Brahms family. Their expertise spans three generations with over eight decades of history. It all started in 1933 at the beginning of the Great Depression, and the rest, as to say, is history. In 1930s, where it all began, Henry H. Brom, Bill Brom's father, leased and converted a house and used it as a small butter processing plant located in the hometown of Euphoria, Kansas. A year later, the owner built a new 25 by 80 foot building, so Henry moved production to that facility. Later, milk processing was added. Throughout childhood, Bill Brom helped his father with the family business, learning every aspect of operation. In the 1940s, entering the ice cream business, Henry Brom expanded the business to include ice cream processing. In 1945, Bill Brom arrived at the University of Kansas, enrolled in the engineering school. After one semester, he found his calling and enrolled in business school. After graduating with a degree in business administration from the University of Kansas, Bill Brom returned home to Euphoria to work with his father and to take an active role in the family business. At this time, Bill's sister introduced him to his future wife, Mary. In the 1950s, growing up in 1952, Bill and his father sold the wholesale part of the business. They purchased an old Kraft cheese factory and they remodeled it into an ice cream and processing plant and began specializing in milk and ice cream. They developed a chain of retail ice cream stores in Kansas called Peter Pan Ice Cream, named after a local park in Euphoria. In the 1960s, the first Brahm store opened in Oklahoma City. In 1961, Bill Brahm purchased the company from his father and brought his first dairy farm to Euphoria. In 1967, Bill grew the chain to 61 stores and increased the business tenfold. He then sold the Peter Pan retail stores to a large wholesaler. The sale did not include the Brahm dairy herd and processing plant. As the conditions of the sale, the Brahms were not allowed to sell ice cream in Kansas for 10 years. In 1968, Bill and his wife Mary opened the first Brahms ice cream and dairy store in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. That year, 23 more stores opened throughout Oklahoma. For three years, because of Brahms Dairy Herd and Processing Plant, were still located in Euphoria, Kansas. All ice cream, dairy products, and other supplies were transported daily from Kansas to Oklahoma. In 1970s, uh, Brahms ice cream and dairy stores uh, uh, stated that they made real ice cream, hot fudge, and banana splits. A modern day cattle drive in 1971, a new 60,000 square foot processing plant was built in Oklahoma City. By 1975, the bronze dairy herd the largest dairy herd in Kansas moved to Oklahoma. This modern-day cattle drive consisted of over 900 cows traveling down the highway in convoy in semi-trucks and their new home at the Brahms Farm in Tuttle, Oklahoma. In 1978, the original Brahms Bakery was built next to the processing, the fresh bakery items available. In Brahms stores, including cookies, ice cream cones, buns, loaves of bread, and much more. In the 1980s, they expanded the farm and processing operation. 
Bill and Mary Brahms purchased several farms in southeastern Oklahoma, including Stonewall, Asher, Wynette, and Byers. Each of the farms played a unique role in the Brahms operation, from growing feed to the dairy hard to raising each new generation of calves in 1987. With the need for a larger processing plant evident, Brahms Construction crews built a 260,000 square foot state-of-the-art processing plant on their Brahms farm in Tuttle, Oklahoma. The original processing plant in Oklahoma City became the site for Brahms corporate offices. In 1988, Bill Brahm purchased a farm that lies on the border of Foylette, Texas, and Shattuck, Oklahoma. The farm is primarily used for growing alfalfa hay to feed the dairy herd. Over the years, the farm has grown to 24,000 acres, about 38 square miles. In the 1990s, becoming one of the world's largest milk oper milking operations, in 1993, Brahms Construction Crew built the, what is touted as one of the largest milking operations of its kind in the world. Built at the Tuttle Farm, it consists of a milk barn and 15 free stall barns covering 35 acres that house the Brahms private dairy herd. In the 2000s, growing the herd, in 2002, Brahms construction crews built a milking complex on the Foylet farm. Although smaller than the milking operation at Tuttle, the private dairy herd at Follett provides thousands of gallons of fresh, raw milk each day. This milk is then transported to Brahms processing plant in Tuttle. Calves born or raised on the Follett farm and eventually become part of the milking herd. All of the bull calves from both Tuttle and Follett are raised here as well. In 2008, 3,000 calf hutches and pens were installed to house replace heifers on the Tuttle farm. These heifers will eventually become part of the milking herd. In 2010, they made a commitment to excellence. The Brahms built a new 240,000 square foot bakery and warehouse distribution facility adjacent to the processing plant on the Tuttle farm. Also that year, Bill Brahms designed and built a cow trolley to transport dairy, the dairy herd and from to the milk barn. This, this improved the cow's overall comfort Today, the Brahms family owns and operates 280 st stores located throughout Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas, Missouri, and Arkansas. All Brahms stores are located within 300-mile radius of Brahms processing plant located in Tuttle. Their fleet of delivery trucks are on the road seven days a week, delivering fresh product to each store every other day. Bill Brahms, a pioneer in vertical integration, oversees every aspect of the operation, from farming to manufacturing to retailing. This devotion to quality has been the foundation of everything we do at Brahms. We are dedicated to offering the very best to our customers and our commitment to excellence will continue for generations to come. In 2018, we celebrated 50 years. As you can tell, the roots of our business were laid in the 1930s. However, we officially became the Brahms you know today in 1968 when Bill and Mary opened their first store in Oklahoma City. The company continues to be family owned and operated. This means we're celebrating our 50th anniversary in 2018.